so I've been watching a lot of videos on uh, making a uh, dust collection cyclone or a, a dust collector uh, bucket I guess for a shop vac and the uh, simplest uh, one that I've uh, seen is uh, is uh, one where we simply use uh, PVC or ABS uh, fittings to create uh, the cyclone in a bucket from Home Depot, Lowe's, what have you. So I uh, have all the parts here uh, for making that. Uh, essentially the way that the uh, design works is you have an in, uh, in, I guess inlet. This is where the uh, vacuum um, will suck up the air and then you have another intake I guess from on the side like this I'm not sure if you can see it but on these on the side like this that creates the the uh, the cyclone so the way I'm gonna do it is um, I've got these fittings here couplings this one has a has a, has threads that go into so these are two inch couplings Okay, so these go in. This is basically a, ca a gasket for a floodlight, and I found that it fits perfectly onto this coupling. So this, so I'm gonna drill a hole in the middle, another hole in the side, and this part will sit in the bottom, and this will, so this will go on top of the lid. This will then screw into place like this. And so for the middle piece where the uh, vacuum hose is going to connect, I am uh, actually let me see here though. This is the uh, that's actually for hang on that's actually for the. Uh, That's actually for the vacuum uh, uh, utility connection end. So this, uh, essentially what's gonna happen is, I put in <clears throat> some weather stripping in the middle. And so this thing will simply go in here like this to give a fairly good fit. Like that. Okay, and then The other side, the middle part is going to connect somewhat permanently to the um, somewhat permanently to the uh, to the vacuum clean to the uh, shop vac. And this threaded piece, what I've learned from other videos is that if you uh, sort of sand down the threads, it will fit into here. Perfectly. Well, I wouldn't say perfectly, but it, it would fit into there. Uh, actually, I have to rework some of these fittings. I think what we need is. Um, so the idea is once this is here, I'm going to have a two inch pipe that goes into here like this. Okay, and then I'm going to have another thing that uh, fits onto the top like this basically okay so what I'm gonna do is use the uh, threaded part here to make an outline for where I'm gonna cut the uh, the two holes so I'll fit this in the middle here I mean I'm doing this on the lid itself so let's make sort of an outline Do another one as close to the edge as possible. Okay. 
I mean, if, we, if I do mess up, this is just a lid. It's only a couple of bucks. So there's the middle hole. Now this thing is just slightly smaller, so let's see if I can see if we can there's the threads and let's see if it can it's not perfect but I have to uh, sand down one side of it. And you can almost twist it in. And I'll sand down this side a little bit. Easier to have a bit of a rounded edge. Okay, so still not perfect, but I think we don't really care about threading this guy. Just want this to go in, and then this guy will go on this side. Okay, so that is not too bad. It's pretty tight, so hopefully no caulking is required. And if uh, this lid should buckle or something. Uh, we don't we can just reuse the fittings Okay, so that's one part. I'm going to start drilling the other hole and uh, We'll do the other parts Okay, so I think I have it just big enough to twist this in. Let's try. It goes on top like this. Okay, the gasket will go on top. And then our inlet goes like this. Okay, so that should be a fairly tight fit. And at the bottom, I'm gonna have this. Go like that. Okay, so then I might just extend it a little bit. I might extend it a little bit so that it's a little bit further down. So it's not we don't not, we're not sucking all the debris in and sucking it back into the vacuum. That's a little bit too close. So I'm gonna extend it a little bit like this. Extend it a little bit like this. Okay, so next thing is to shave off these uh, threads so that we can fit it inside this thing right here. Okay, so let's
But the idea is, like that. I'm gonna use this, put this guy in here, and fit it into here. So cut that short, and fit that in there like that. And then build a platform. We have to lift this guy up a little bit because it's have to lift it up a little bit to make it even. And we're good to go. So we're gonna try and cut this thing about six inches or almost from there six and a half inches. Maybe, let's see, I guess it's something like this. Should be good enough. Okay, so here's our saw over PVC, ABS Then was I switched the longer end to the top side, thinking this would be needed, but I think that's too long. Let me prop it up. Next, we're gonna cut about three inches of uh, ABS. This is for the bottom, or for in bucket, for the in bucket uh, 90 degree piece. So once you got the three inch piece, that goes to the uh, side inlet here. And the 90 degree is in there. So this is a thing that creates the uh, cyclone action. And then the next step is uh, we're gonna cut uh, sort of a 90 degree angle. 45, I should say, 45 degree angle like this. <coughs> that will go on to that uh, 90 degree piece to create a, a bit of a wedge or a wedge, an angled inlet, if you will. So we have, here we have our angled piece. It's kind of, let's get 
get some shaving off of this. As you can see. Okay, so this thing fits to the side of the book. This thing to test. This is a brand new shop bag. So I would expect to see nothing inside. Or very little anyways. But let's try it. Okay, so I've got a bit of uh, these uh, ABS shavings. Let's see if I uh, vacuum it. See what happens. Okay, as expected, the shavings, some of the, a lot of the shavings have landed into this bucket. The lid for this Home Depot bucket fits really tight. I have some trouble uh, opening it, but that's a good thing. So here, next thing is let's open this uh, shock bag and see what we've got. of the uh, black shading on the filter and at the bottom I do see a couple of pieces but uh, the cyclone bucket does have a baffle and that could have made a difference but uh, this is better than having all of the shavings in the shop bag. So I think I think it's good enough 